Hey, how's it going, my fine sirs? My name is Sir Earl Grey, and just listen to that voice. I am Zeus, masters of men, gods of gods. If I do not bend thy knee before me, thou shalt witness my wrath. <laughs> So anyway, what's the sit rep here? Well, um, I decided to grind a little bit off camera. Essentially what I had to do was to create and gather resources for warp cells, and that involved a lot of mining, which to be honest isn't that entertaining to watch. So I collected a shit ton, I think I have three now in the entirety of my ship, which is a 60% capacity. And now we are going to head off onto a new system. Alright sirs, new adventures! Oh wait! And we are here. System Ignogivos 8. Hey, and I'm accompanied by some friends. Whoa, look at that. Oh, that is stunning. Wait, local d Oh! Where? Where? Oh, it's on you! Oh, you're attacking the freighter! Oh, you're a space pirate! Okay! You have sealed your doom. Oh my god, I am taking serious damage. Jesus Christ, maybe this is a fight that I should not have picked. Oh, oh, one's dead. Woohoo, yeah. This is awesome, I'm a space cop. Anyone else who wants to tussle? Oh, that was so epic. It was a bit simplistic, but still pretty sweet. All right, sirs, it's time to find us this monolith, which is obviously very important. If not, I wouldn't have come up on the space scanner. Whoa, just look at that. Here we go, sirs. We are on the monolith planet. We are on Zegolichilis, and this looks incredible. Just look at that. That could be a screenshot that with the ship in the background and everything. Ah, oh, this is where the game shines to me. This really, when it... You know, you always wanted to, to, to be born in the, in, the, in the area of space travel, in the area of space exploration, to be on Star Trek and Star Wars. And for now, this is the closest thing we can get to it, and I think it's beautiful. Okay, sirs, we fucked up one of these before. Let's not do that again. Okay, sirs, so finally some direction. This has kind of been the first time that we've kind of had a, a quest, so to speak. Oh, and I got a warp cell, thank you. Oh, new species. What are you? What are you? Stop running away and let me catalogue you. Whoa, look at the size of that one over there. It's huge. <laughs> look at this guy. He has huge meaty front legs and then teeny tiny back legs. Jesus, you are ugly. You, on the other hand, you are majestic. Look at those horns. And it has kind of a stegosaurus-like back. Oh, can I ride you? Now that would be cool. Now that would be an amazing thing to do. Jesus Christ, you may be a beauty, but you should not open your mouth. Ever. Just like some people, actually. Whoa! Jesus Christ, did you just see that? I have a freaking grenade launch on my gun. Woohoo! Hell yes! As you guys can see, I got a new, um, a new gun. Or a new uh, multi-tool, as they call it. And it's freaking powerful! Oh, oh, you guys want to go? That's fine, that's fine. Here, have a taste of that. Woohoo! Hell yes, these guys don't even stand a chance. Well, says I may protect people from space pirates, but when it comes to resource gathering, nothing gets in my way. Whoa, look at this block! It looks like a giant walkie-talkie! <laughs> That's so cool! Ooh, it suddenly got a bit windy out. Jesus, minus 102.C degrees! Jesus Christ, I would be freezing my balls off. Oh, look at this teeny tiny guy! Oh, he's so adorable! Oh, and is that it? Wait, no, they're different species. Oh, yeah, because they've got different horns on their head. Oh, I love how they come in all shapes and stuff. So what is that over there? Oh, I'm going to definitely check you out. But first, the teeny tiny one. Oh, my God. You, on the other hand, aren't so cute. But you look terrific. Ah, oh, look at that sky. It's a new day. It's a new life without any winter storms coming to kill me. It looks good, sirs. All right, sirs, let's check what lies in store for us in these shelters. And that is not the door. <laughs> uh, I've been in this game for more than five hours, and I still don't know how to identify a front door yet. Hey, what's up, dude? He's just like, yeah, bro, how's it going? Welcome to my humble abode. Oh, my God, I just landed on a tree. Am I okay? Is my ship okay? Yeah, we're fine. Remnants of the Bidensura Iru. 
brilliant light that erupts from the ancient Markle. It encircles me, engulfing my mind with memories and voices of the Corvax echoes. The dreams of entities who once worshipped here become my own. Seek help with the language. Yes, please. It's a very fancy word for a dictionary, really. Whoa, look at the size of these three deposits, sirs. We've got gold, iridium, I think, and then iridium in the background. That's so cool. I will call this place the Three Pillars of Minerals. Well, it's soon going to become two pillars of minerals because iridium's expensive. All right, sirs. I think my job of scarring the planet is pretty much done. I took a lot out of that pillar and there's still so much left. It's crazy. But unfortunately, the weather's going to kill me if I spend more time out here. So thank you, Three Pillars. You have been, well, two and a half now. You've been very useful. But now I must continue on my epic adventure. Whoa, look at that beast. It's right next to my ship. No, come back. Whoa, look at the size of him. He's, don't just show your butt to me. Oh, he's so majestic. Let me catalog you, please. All right, sirs. I think it's time that we head off to our new destination. But the first things first, I want a new ship. I have a shit ton of money. And what's the point of money if you don't spend it, right? Holy shit, this thing is hard to control. Okay, that's the way. That's the way. No, go back down. Jesus, for a space policeman, I cannot fly for shit. Where? 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 Who can I destroy? Who can I blow out of the cosmos? Oh, you picked on the wrong pilot, motherfucker. There you go. Done. Look at these guys trying to pick on me. Who do they think they are? Not to mention attacking me right in front of the massive space station. Not a good idea. Oh, and of course, the moment I want to buy a new ship. There's none here. Oh my god, you are ugly. Don't give me the ugly ships. I want the cool ones. Oh my god, this one's even uglier. Come on, man. I want something streamlined. Something sleek. Something that would be in the space program. Not something cobbled together in your backyard. Oh. Oh, this could be the one, sirs. This could be it. Nope, never mind, it's a flying toaster. Well, so in the meantime, while waiting for a ship, which is really riveting, just sitting around in a hangar all day, I'm gonna check out this, uh, this abandoned building. Jesus Christ, this planet is dark. I wonder why you stood out, abandoned building. You better give me something good. Because it looks like I've just landed in the nether realm. Oh, thank you for giving me a technology that I already knew. Well, wasn't this a great success? Ooh! Oh, you look cool! Oh, I definitely want to check you out! Oh, that one's cool! The circle thing around it looks a bit weird. It kind of looks like the hyperdrives that you see in Star Wars, but... Ah, oh, definitely streamlined. No! No, the ship just ran away! No! Oh, but it was so cool! I was checking out this one! Which also looks freaking awesome! But to be honest, they're exactly the same, but... Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, sh no, game. I want to trade before he leaves. Ah, oh, but this one's more expensive. Ah, oh, let me see what it has, though, in terms of items. We've got an empty hyperdrive, which is freaking useless. Wait, so it's telling me to hold Y to transfer objects, but I can't seem to transfer, like, my hyperdrive or something, which has 80% fuel versus his that has none. Oh, that's a load of baloney, sirs. That means I can't transfer the most important things. Well, sirs, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to give him all my warp cells just because. That sucks. That's a, a really shitty thing, which I really hope they fix, because essentially you should only trade in your sheep. Sh <laughs> and you can only trade in your sheep. You can only trade in your ship if you have no... Uh, if your hyperdrive is empty. So for now, the Rasamama is gonna, is gonna, is gonna have to do. Which is actually fine. The Rasamama is a great ship. I love it a bit. But I just wanted something a little bit, you know, a little bit more... To be honest, I'm not gonna even say it because the Rasamama will probably get pissed off at me and then jettison me off into space or something. You should never badmouth your ship.
Okay, sirs, we have finally arrived, and whoa, look at that sight. It's a massive plumb bomb. Oh, I've never seen a space station like this before. Oh, let us head straight on in. Oh, it looks so ominous. Whoa. Now this really feels like I'm going to be abducted by aliens. Woo! This is so cool. And with the music and everything. Oh my god, look at that. It's the Coursers. Now we see, saw a miniatized version of this right at the beginning. But this definitely looks like this is monolithic. Oh, it's so freaking cool. What's he going to tell us? What secrets is he going to reveal? Of course I'm going to accept Milestone Pathfinder. I've come all the way here. I'm definitely not going to leave before getting anything. The sky is deep and full of wonders, and the path of enlightenment opens to me. There you go, an Atlas Stone. I've seen that those are really valuable. Well, that is cool. And we're off with our new treasures and our new knowledge. Okay, so I think this is where I'm going to leave today's episode. I We did so much today, and I'm so glad that I managed to show off uh, so much, and especially that last part, showing us the, a remnant of Atlas was so cool. And I think this is really where the narrative part of the game really steps in to guide us throughout the universe and eventually to its centre. So if you say enjoy this episode and you want to see more of No Man's Sky, please don't forget to bestow a like and subscribe to become a sir today. So as always, stay cool, stay classy, and I will see you sirs in the next episode. Well sirs, I guess I'm going for a swim. Well, then, that's a lesson for you, sirs. If you're on an irradiated planet, do not go swimming. Oh, thank you, a donation. Aw, oh, man, why can't I have a space station like this? It'd be freaking awesome.